Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening from every corner around the world. Uh, welcome again to uh, a new day and a new lecture at the GIS. And uh, we're trying to get as many possible perspectives and many possible um, educational schooling system from all around the world for you. Um, it's the Dental Olympics where um, we hope you're as mesmerized and as excited as we are every day. Uh, today we have Dr. Sandeep uh, Singh, he's uh, our host today, and Dr. Carlos Morano will be giving the lecture. So we have uh, a mix of uh, German, Indian, Brazilian, American, and Egyptian education trying to see different corners, different perspectives, and um, uh, I hope it uh, can mesmerize our thoughts as much as possible. Dr. Sandeep, uh, you have the floor. Uh, and welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to a new day. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, it's a wonderful <laughs> opportunity to, I'm really happy that we are here back again at the Global uh, Interdisciplinary uh, Summit. Uh, Global Implantology uh, has, uh, uh, Summit has brought so many, so many dental surgeons from all around the world, clinicians, and I'm really happy to be here with, uh, Carlos Morao, and uh, let me introduce him. Uh, he is a, a DDS, MSc, PhD, and he's a handsome, young, 36-year-old <laughs> Brazilian dental surgeon who has a PhD. So at such a young age, uh, he has a doctorate, a PhD in dentistry, and he has master's, he has done his master's degree in surgical sciences, and he has a postdoc in biotechnology and dentistry, oral and maxillofacial surgeon, so amazing combination, uh, certified in implant dentistry, mm -hmm. certified in stomatology. And uh, the best part and the, 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 the most amazing thing is he's the editor in chief of International Journal of Growth Factors and Stem Cells in Dentistry. So uh, I remember when he has um, started this uh, position, he got this position as an editor-in-chief. I got in touch with him and I hope you remember, Carlos, that we had an uh, exchange, yeah, yeah. exchange of thoughts and uh, uh, it's an amazing, uh, um, uh, for me also that uh, you, you, you said that we can come up with some, certain publications and uh, at the moment, working as faculty and researcher at South Bay Dental Institute, LA, California, USA. And yep. he is he's researcher specialist in blood derived growth factors, bone regeneration, tissue engineering, bone graft analysis, dental implants, and oral surgery. So, without taking much of your time, because uh, we had some uh, some uh, technical problems initially, so I will not take much of your time. And I present over here, Dr. Carlos Rao. Welcome. Thank you, thank okay. you so much, my friend. Yeah. Thank you so much for thank you so much for introducing me. Uh, so I don't need to introduce myself. Uh, thank you so much for for introduction. Uh, I'd like to be clear that I have no, uh, the disclosure, I have no actual or potential conflict of interest in relation to this presentation, okay? Uh, I didn't receive any money from any company uh, right now. So uh, let's start with the generations of uh, platelet concentrates. The important is, to understand one thing. We have only two generations. The first generation with the presence of anticoagulant and the second generation without anticoagulant. That's important to understand because uh, we, can, we can hear some people saying, no, we have the third, fourth, fifth generation. That's not true. The important is first with anticoagulant, the presence of anticoagulant, uh, for example, sodium citrate, and the second generation without anticoagulant. And today, oh, 
our focus will be in the second generation, especially in platelet-rich fibrin. So the father of the platelet-rich fibrin is Dr. Joseph Shokram. This is the first publication uh, in, in plant on, uh, I don't know the name in, in France, but uh, in, I think that's in, plant in plantology. And that's the first publication. And, and it was the introduction of the, the platelet-rich fibrin, I will call PRF. And I think that most of you know uh, this name as PRF more than other names. And then uh, we can see today in the literature, many, many options to use. We can see LPRF, uh, just a brand. We can see the TPRF, we can see the CGF. Uh, I like to say that we have PRF. That's uh, what I like to say. PRF because uh, it's simple and everybody can understand it. Today, uh, to talk about the not next generation, I don't like this name. I don't like to say next generation because it's still we are still in the same generation, uh, this generation without uh, anticoagulant. Uh, so I will introduce the ALB CGF or ALB PRF. Anyways, you can call uh, as you want. So the the main idea was from this paper, okay? This paper is from Dr. Tomuk Kawazi. I'm very happy to be him, uh, to be with his team and to be work with his team uh, in Japan, in Niigata. He's an amazing uh, researcher, dental surgeon, and then uh, I'm very glad to work with him. So, Dr. Tomoyuki Kawazi, he introduced the, the heat compression technique for uh, platelet-rich fibrin. And he tried to create a barrier membrane with this. Uh, and in this study, we have different technique. He used the full uh, PRF membrane and he heat, he, heat the, he, he heat the PRF membrane in 90 or 120 degrees Celsius degree, and that's a high temperature. And uh, we reduced this temperature to create another one, the ALB CGF. Uh, the ALB CGF, uh, I thought in the ALB CGF in 2016, and in at that moment I was thinking in in a barrier for bone graft version, for GBR, bone uh, graft regeneration, uh, guide bone regeneration. And at the, that moment, I was thinking, oh, we have the, we can heat, but we don't have, if we heat too much, our blood driving concentrate, we will lose the cells. We will lose all the cells inside of the blood driving concentrate, inside of the PRF. And if you will lose the cells, we don't have the, the growth factors, we don't have the cytokines, and it's not good for our uh, blood product, blood, blood byproduct. Uh, and then uh, I talked with my group from Brazil, from Fe Fluminense Federal University, and we, I, I, I said my idea. Uh, some people use it, the, the, the albumin uh, plus uh, PRP that's a, from the first generation for facial aesthetics. And then I was thinking, well, I think that I can remove the anticoagulant and create a new, uh, a new blood driver concentrate without, uh, without anticoagulant, but with albumin. And then I tried many times. Uh, at that moment, I, I received a very, very good machine, a very good device. And I recommend this device for this process. The name is APAG, the APAG, the APAG from Silverdent. It's an amazing machine to produce it. And I used the, 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 the Medifuge, 
the to produce the PRF, the liquid PRF. And after that, uh, we combined it. the albumin plus PRF plus liquid PRF or IPRF. Anyway, we combine that materials, and and then we put in a glass bowl, and I waited only for for no more than five minutes, and after that I had the the how CGF. So this is the patent of uh, the the method for our CGF or our PRF production. This patent is from Brazil, from University Federal Fluminense University. Uh, so that's the number of the process in N I N P I, and then uh, the patent of the the method of our PRF or our CGF or uh, any material for the natural the denaturated denaturated uh, uh, album uh, denaturated plasma uh, with liquid PRF or IPRF is from Brazil from uh, uh, Fluminense Federal University and then you if you want that's the number and then that's the process of the patent you can see on the top of the the on the top of the the screen you can see the 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 name patent and last year <clears throat> sorry last year uh, uh i worked with some researchers from bern and from wuhan uh china and we 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 did this uh, amazing work and it was published this year in platelets, the biological characterization of the platelet-rich fibrin mixture with consisting autolus albumin gel and liquid platelet-rich fibrin. And then at that moment, we thought, whoa, uh, let's change na the name. And then uh, I talked with Dr. Rick, Rick Myro. And I talked with him, oh, yeah, let's change the name for ALPRF. Uh, we have the ALPCGF, but the ALPCGF, uh, I think that the people knows more uh, PRF than CGF. And then I said, yeah, you are correct. Uh, let's use the name ALPRF. And then now we have the name ALPCGF or ALPRF. That's the same, the same product. So we need to start. Uh, all will all of our blood driver concentrates will start with a venipuncture. <clears throat> and here we can see the arm of the patient. In this case, not the patient, it's my arm. Okay. And we will dry, we will we will we will collect the blood the blood at the moment. We need to clean the, the, the skin with alcohol. And after that, we will use uh, especially a 21 gauge needle. Okay, 21 because we will have a very good caliber and then we can, uh, we can remove faster that blood from the vein. We use normally the antecubital fossa. That's the perfect area to collect the blood. And one thing that's important, we will use the white tube or the orange tube. Uh, the orange tube is from uh, Shokun's IPRF. You can use the same, the same, uh, the same tube. Or, or orange or white tube to collect your uh, the blood from your patient. And after that, we need to spin. Uh, this one is an horizontal rotor, uh, but we don't need an horizontal rotor to do it. We can use a fixed angle or vertical rotor uh, to produce it. Uh, and then we can use uh, other brands to produce the, the out PRF. Uh, membrane and th at this moment the the liquid PRF 
So that's the device that I said before. Uh, that's not the APAG from Superdent. That's another one. And the name is BioHeat. And uh, with what the, what do we want with this device? We need to heat the, the the plasma of the patient. So we will collect only the first the the two mLs. Uh, normally the first layer of the the liquid PRF, and we will place the the liquid uh, the liquid plasma inside of this device. After place inside of this device, we need to wait for ten minutes during uh, during ten minutes in seventy five Celsius. Cel seventy five Celsius. Uh, why not? a hundred or uh, more than that, because we need to wait uh, this material cold. We need this material after after heat this material, we need this material in, in room temperature to, to insert the, the, the cells, because without the cells, we don't have the, the, the growth factor. We don't have the cytokines without the cells from the liquid PRF. And at this moment, uh, we are using the 75 degrees because I've, with 75 degrees, it's the same 75 degrees from APAG from Superdense, and the method is the same. You need to wait for eight or 10 minutes in room temperature to start your procedure, to start to produce your PRF, uh, all PRF membrane. The material. So we will need. Two syringe, okay, uh, one one plate or one uh, uh, glass ball. I prefer glass ball, okay. Uh, two more, two caps to protect the the material inside of the, that device inside of the heater, and one double female wear lock. So that's the material. Uh, this this device this heater you can find in in many places you can find in in it's a laboratory laboratory device and then you can buy from different companies okay my suggestion as i said is the one from silverdent because i think that the quality is is very good the quality is very good this one is good okay this one is very good too but uh, I, I like the Superdent machine, and uh, uh, we, we brought this, this uh, BioHeat for US. And then now uh, I think that Rick, he, he's waiting for the FDA for this machine. And he will get it soon. So uh, we need to collect, as I said, the two mLs, the first layer of our liquid PRF, two mLs from uh, uh, the upper layer. And after collect the this first layer, normally we, in this layer we have the serum and the, the PPP. And then at the moment we need to put the cap to protect our device and not only the, the, the plasma, but our device. And we need to, after that, after collect, we have, I don't know if you can see in the image, we have 75 degrees and 10 minutes ready to go. And then we can place and push the, the start button. Placing the, our PRF, the, the liquid PRF, not the liquid PRF, the plasma and the PPP, sorry. And the the time time to run after ten minutes we will have our double female lure lock and with this simple device we will use that device to mix the the liquid PRF the now you can observe that I'm not in the on the upper layer i'm in the middle layer uh near of the buff coat zone okay and then i will collect this area i collect the the the, the rich portion 
And with this rich portion, I will connect with my female lure lock in one side. Observe that I don't have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of liquid at this moment, but I have a lot of albumin, almost uh, two by one uh, albumin to liquid pure. Observe in this image the consistency of the the albumin, like a gel. We have the gel at this moment. So if you want to use this, this material for, some people use this material for facial aesthetics, and then I think that's uh, a natural product, and then that's a very good product to use in, in facial aesthetics. So now we will start to produce our, our PRF membrane. We will remove the other cap from the double female lower lock. <coughs> And you can observe that we have one side we have more, and the other side uh, in your in your right side we have more albumin than the other side that we have less uh, uh, low quantity of uh, liquid PRF. And then we need we need to start to mix it. And when we start to mix it, normally we you should push the albumin for the liquid PRF and then the liquid PRF for the albumin because that's obviously because we can see the question about the quantity of the one side for the other side. And the important thing is we can't mix more than four times. The, the, why we, can mi we can't mix more than four times? Because I don't want to break too much the, the, the albumin gel. If I mix too much, if I do it, this movement too much, I will break the particles. You know, I will break in small particles my albumin, and then I don't want it because with if I if I do it, my time of uh, the time of my my album albumin membrane will reduce in the human body. So, as as I said, we start to mix one side for for liquid PRF, and now the other side for the other side to mix for the the albumin side after three times we can see that's a perfect consistency of the alprf and then we can place this material as i said in a in a ball in a metal ball i prefer i said I prefer a glass ball, okay? Because the glass, uh, the pure glass can activate uh, the fibering mesh uh, faster than the metal ball. Right now we need to wait for five, six minutes, no more than that. And if you use the, the, the glass ball, you probably will you will wait uh, around three four minutes you can reduce this time and after that you have this material so with this material you can start to work uh for your gbr we i have only one problem and then we are trying to resolve this problem is the elasticity of this material we don't have a huge elasticity and uh, the PRF membrane, normally you can suture the PRF membrane. This material, you, you, if you try to suture, you can, you can have a rupture of the material. So we are trying to fix it. And if you want to see uh, our uh, idea, uh, I publish it in, in my journal, in my editorial, an editorial in my journal about LP PRF, the laser pulse PRF. And then we have the one layer with albumin and the second layer with only PRF. And we have the elasticity. Probably uh, it will be our next step. So that's our membrane, our, our PRF membrane. 
So that's good to see. That's amazing to see. That's the SEM, okay, the electronic microscopy. And then in the SEM, that's totally different than PRF. In this area, we don't have the PRF. All of those, uh, all of those images are from P all, all PRF. And then we can see something like a foam or sponge. We can see it. Uh, and then we can see the density of the material. That's amazing because with this density, we probably we can use it as a barrier. As Kawazi said uh, in 2014, 2015, okay? And that's another great image because in, in this immunofluorescence, we can see the cell viability. We have a lot of cells. So if we have cells, I will have for sure. And, and you can see here the quantum of cells in the, in the bottom, in the, the figure C, the, the quantum of cells is almost the same in all of regions. And if you have cells, for sure, we will have growth factors. And then we, you can see the liberation of growth factors. The FGF, at that moment, we, we tried uh, the FGF, the VEGF, and the PDGF. We have it uh, in, in vitro uh, research. During seven days, we have better results uh, during 14 days, more than, than 14 days. And that's amazing. That's amazing for uh, 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 our PRF membrane, for a new membrane, for a new uh, and different membrane. Now, I'll talk about a, a little bit about our in vivo study. As you can see, uh, I, we prepared uh, a translational, translational research. We start uh, from the, the pilot and then the in, vi in vitro research, and now our in vivo research. <laughs> I, lo I love that mice because that mice is uh, nude mice. If you don't know, if you, if you read uh, or read some papers uh, about nude mice and you don't know what, the, what is the, the nude mice, that's the nude mice. These mice doesn't have the, the, the lymphocyte type T. So if, if, he, if, if this mice doesn't have the lymphocyte type T, we don't have the cross-link reaction. That's good because without it, I can use my own blood in these mice. That's what we did. So after collect my own blood for this study, uh, one side in the right side, you can see a normal, normal. Uh, you can't see nothing in the right side. But in the left side, you can see uh, uh, the area that we place it, the, the, the LPRF. So in the right side, what we did, we placed the PRF, only the PRF membrane. And in the other side, we placed the LPRF membrane. And this image is 14 days after the surgical procedure. Look, after 14 days, look our our PRF membrane and look the side with our PRF, the simple PRF membrane. We don't have nothing in the in for, after 14 days, just uh, small pieces. And after 14 days in the our PRF membrane, you can we can see the full PRF membrane. Uh, the PRF, the all PRF membrane is still there. That's impressive. And one thing that's interesting is uh, in, in mice or rats, normally uh, the time uh, to the correspondence time for humans, normally we need, we can multiply this time for five or six times because the 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 time of the metabolism is around five or six times because it will depends on the the heartbeat so if you have 14 days uh 
uh, if you are good in, in math, so you can you can you can see we will have around uh, after uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not good in math. <laughs> if you have fourteen days, we can use this the the, the only fourteen and five. 70 days 70 days is around two uh two months and five weeks if it's is it good for gbr for sure right and 21 days i think that 21 days is better right especially for the people that like the the facial aesthetics that's amazing and because you can use as injectable material and we can use for gbr too so we have a very good material after 21 days let me see again i will use only five i will, multi I will multiply for five so 21 days five 105 days Okay. Between four and five months. Okay. That's impressive. That's very good. Between, uh, that's amazing. So if you have this material and then you can see around of this tissue, around of the LPRF, you can see the vascularization, the nail vascularization, different of the other side. You don't have the nail vascularization the other side. And you can see uh, just a little bit. But uh, we did this measurement. So the membrane size after four, 7, 14, and 21 days. Look, almost no difference between all PRF and the horizontal PRF and the LPRF. After 21 days, we don't have any more. And 14 days, I'm sure, seven and 14 days is the, the surface area is only, it's not the, the full membrane, the intact membrane, is only a small piece of membrane, not the intact membrane. And in the LPRF, we have the intact membrane, the full membrane, the full membrane. That's totally different. And this research, this research about LPRF will be published, uh, is, was accepted for, uh, it, that's a new uh, research, our new research, our in vivo research, was accepted in platelets too for publication uh, this year. And uh, I think that's in one week, uh, this publication will be available for you. Uh, in this publication, we use it, the, the, the regulation of ISO, ISO, and you can see the vascularization, you can see the reabsorption, you can see the biodegradation, biocompatibility, biocompatibility everything about the LPRF membrane in vivo. So that's, I think that's the future. That is an amazing history and then that's an amazing product. And I think that's the future for uh, our procedures so for GBR or uh, for uh, facial aesthetics, you can use it. And I probably we will, we will improve it I'm sure that we will improve it, this this procedure because, as I said, we have some we have one limitation, and and uh, I can I can tell you that we have uh, some limitations for facial aesthetics too, because if you try to apply this material on the lips, uh, the problem is you don't have uh, the reverser, you don't have such as uh, uh, HA, HA, you can use the one enzyme to to remove the HA. The LPRF, you don't, you can't use enzyme to remove to remove it. And 
and that not only surgically and uh, that's that's not good for our patient so we have some limitations for sure and but for GBR the limitation is uh, for me the limitation right now for GBR is the suture but if you can use this material only to place in your window in the lateral window for for silent lift or above of your biomaterial I think that will be very, very, you, you, will, you will have for sure a very good result for your patients, for you and your patient. That's amazing. Uh, I'd like to thank so much for your presence here today. And that's some reference that we have today. Uh, I'm, I didn't uh, add yet the, the new publication from Platelets. I will do it. Um, ah, I'm sorry. That publication from Platelist is part of the PhD of my friend, my good friend, Ezio Gano. And uh, it was amazing uh, research with him. And, uh, the, and that, 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 that procedure, that all of that procedure was, was made in Brazil, in Fluminense Federal University, in his, during his PhD. So as you, thank you so much. Thank you all of the authors. Thank you, Monica. Thank you everybody for your help. And I hope to see you soon uh, after coronavirus problem. Thank you. Yeah, hi, uh, Carlos. Uh, thank you so much for wonderful presentation and there has been a lot of uh, discussion on to this and there are so many players um uh for the general dentist it's pretty confusing because you know as uh, you said rightly yeah, said, i know <laughs> i know, right, I know. Right, rightly said father of uh, second generation growth factors is professor uh, joseph shukrun and uh, yeah, I, joseph shukrun. yeah. And He's I got the of generation. Yeah, it's the second generation. So uh, uh, people have to understand this thing. <laughs> I believe that you can. Uh, can you give us a short uh, uh, little in um, a difference between a PRP and a PRF? Because a lot many people are confused between <laughs> PRP and PRF. That's simple, my friend. Uh, the PRP, as I said, is the first generation. In the first generation, we have the anticoagulant. Yeah. And the PRF is the second generation. We don't have anticoagulant. We have, sometimes we have inside of the tube, the clot activator, but not an anticoagulant. And uh, normally for the PRP, we use the sodium citrate. The anticoagulant is the sodium citrate. is a calant of uh, calcium. The calcium, uh, the calcium is the, the factor four of our coagulation cascade and uh, and that's it we after the 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 use of the sodium citrate if you want to activate the the clot for uh, PRP you should use the thrombine or thrombine sorry or uh, or calcium yeah yeah so uh, uh, one should uh, uh, the first of all for the general dentist who are coming in down into the growth factors because uh, my first interaction with the growth factors was with uh, Professor Dong Seok Son from Korea. And my <laughs> great <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 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 let me tell you, uh, he is a fantastic, uh, He's a fantastic. Uh, surgeon. He's fantastic. Yeah. fantastic surgeon, yeah. and he is the one who who has taken up the CGF because then. Yeah. Our, Recently, because I got a chance to host uh, Professor Shukru uh, recently in one of my talk shows, uh, um, uh, Meet the Legends. And in that, uh, I got Professor Shukru and he was like almost two hours. And uh, when I met for the first time with Professor Shukru in New Delhi, uh, I attended his uh, one day workshop and before that, almost a year back, or maybe a few months back, I met an accident in Budapest, Hungary. Oh, yeah. I, I was there for to attend the, the first symposium by Professor Istvan Arban because I have been, uh, he's my mentor. 
and uh, um, I broke my uh, ACL ligament and meniscus. It was I was going on a Segway ride, and I just my my wheel and my uh, tour guide wheel just they kissed each other and we fell down it was one degree and one degree temperature and it was so cold and i was like oh my god oh so my I, god. yeah i told him and i then i became the 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 uh, live uh, subject for shukrun and I, he said come come let's do the phlebotomy and he uh, I, I i had to put my pants down in front of everybody i took a towel <laughs> and then he injected one uh, full syringe of ipr there mm -hmm. and let me tell you i'm walking absolutely fantastic i was supposed to do sure. it again sure. yeah i had to get a shot again but i was uh, thinking that if i meet professor shokrun then I only i'll get it done and I am absolutely fantastic. No surgeries, nothing. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So uh, that's, as... that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, uh, Dr. Sharon Ganachi from Germany. He's mm. working with a Canadian group, uh, and this Canadian group, uh, the publication is almost ready. They 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 work it. They work it in TMJ, and the results oh amazing yeah. with the liquid PRF. And I, I believe that the question about the, the articulation and the liquid PRF, for sure, that's amazing. And the, the work which you're doing with the heated albumin, the LPCGF. Uh, oh, that's another question. That's a very good question because uh, uh, that I think that could be another step, another idea, because uh, I I was thinking to 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 talk <laughs> to with a research group uh, uh probably in orthopedics and i'd like to try the the alb prf inside of the joint of the knee joint i think that yeah. could be a very good bike, bike supplementation that i think that will be very good uh, no because i got a chance to host uh, uh dr alfteria gliarmi she's a surgeon general surgeon from Greece, uh, Tunis Island, and uh, she uses a lot of LPCGF in facial aesthetics. And uh, I was lucky to get uh, Tiziano Batani. Uh, My great uh, friend, I talked to him yesterday, yeah. <laughs> so Tiziano Batani was also there with me on that uh, talk show, and we had a lot of discussion and about this heated albumin. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me tell you, Professor Shukrun is not into that league. I mean, he doesn't say talk about albumin, albumin heated albumin. He is not um, very much uh, um, convinced with that. So uh, there, is, there are so many people like uh, uh, after Professor Shukrun, then uh, there is one side CGF and AFG with uh, Professor Dong Siokson pushing uh, i mean like he works more on to that because they yeah, are, have amazing uh, people around the world for sure yeah so the spinning is high time is much uh, m a longer time with uh, shukrun's uh, professor shukrun's iprf sprf uh, the spinning is at a low speed and um, mm -hmm. the low uh, speed contact yeah. time is less so he i believe he says that less the speed less the time uh, is more viable cells so what do you have to say about that so you are totally right if you if you spin uh less time for sure you have more uh cells in your yeah. blood driver computers that we can see in the in some publication from the professor sharon granat group uh but uh another one concern about it is if you if you can have you can have more cells but you have a low quant of the the product and then you, we have a comparison we have a, a paper uh, about the comparison about lprf and aprf and then we can see the size of the membrane this paper is from mark Renning and dr nelson pinto and then you can see that's you can that's normal you can see you can have more cells 
but you have uh, 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 not a huge membrane. You have only a small membrane using the low speed concept. Yeah, so sometimes you need a membrane which is more stretchable. It could be less with the viable cells, but sometimes it is more of fibrin. Sometimes it is uh, uh, less of fibrin. So as as you see that CGF has is contains more of fibrin, or because when I was talking to Tiziano Batani, he was like uh, being a being a cell biologist. Uh, he had uh, different reasons. Yeah. Uh, Tiziano is a good friend of mine, but uh, I agree with uh, Professor uh, Joseph Shokram, Dr. Joseph Shokram, when yeah. he said when he said PRF or CGF is almost the same. Uh, the difference is only the rotation, there's only the the centrifuge, but uh, the quality, the elasticity will be similar. It will be depends on uh, the question about the the, the patient's blood. Yeah, but uh, uh, because it is very confusing for the general dentist to know that there is APRF, IPRF, CGF, uh, AFG, LPRF, and now something else come in. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and we know that we uh, 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 some people are preparing uh, more brands for the future. I, we know that and it is very confused that's why i like to say only prf and that's yeah. it prf or yeah, PRF. uh as, as rick myron said uh uh the uh solid prf yeah so it could be we call we should say that that like autologous uh growth factors you know because everybody is uh -huh. talking yeah everybody is talking about auto autologous growth factors whether it is prf mm -hmm. APR, LPR, CGF, mm -hmm. AFG, everything is autologous without any anticoagulant. Everything, everything, yeah. everything. Uh, autologous blood concentrates, yeah. autologous blood growth factors, or uh, blood driver growth factors. Um, it's all the same. Yeah, and uh, one more question, I, uh, which is there with uh, most of the uh, dental surgeons all around the world who are into implantology and who are into um, um, regeneration. So uh, it is evidence based that uh, PRF or the growth factors they really help into the soft tissue healing. Everybody, amazing. Yeah, that's every, amazing. For everybody, is, everybody is convinced with that. But when yeah, I have comes, some people. It's amazing. For yeah, sure. but but once it comes to the heart tissue, uh, a lot many people have. <laughs> You know my answer. You know my answer. <laughs> lot many people are. Lot many people have. Uh, there are two. Definitely two. Two schools of uh, thought, and um, one school says that it doesn't help into any kind of newborn angiogenesis or newborn formation or anything. So whenever, because I do a lot of growth factors, and in India, whenever, whenever I speak on to this subject. I said, please let us not go into the controversies. Let us not mm -hmm. talk about that. When I mix my graft with my APRF or LPR, IPRF or AFG or CGF, whatever, what I get uh, is a sticky bone. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that biomaterial, once it gets uh, very sticky, it is uh, um, um, uh, you can manipulate it, you can pack it, it won't go anywhere. That is the, Amazing biggest, handle. That is the yeah. biggest advantage. So what do you have to say that, do you have uh, certain studies like 10 years, 15 years, because everybody is talking about evidence. I have got mm -hmm. very good result, but I cannot say that it works good in my hand, so it is something I can uh, pick. You need to have studies. So since you are into this, and you have a PhD, so, uh, my in my PhD, uh, I did uh, research about uh, the IPRF plus uh, one biomaterial in sinus lip, and then I published it in clinical or investigation, and then I didn't see any difference between both sides. Uh, it was a split mount surge, a split mount procedure, 
and I we I we didn't see a difference between that sides. Uh, but I think that um, one side the the people that that think oh this this is correct we have a lot of uh, uh, bone formation with the stick bone is not a little totally right and not a totally wrong. And the people that think oh we have only a good material to manipulate. I think that's not totally right and not totally wrong because we will have cells and then we will have growth factors and the cells will help us to to uh, chemiotaxi in the chemiotaxi and then that's important for uh, our body that's important for sure we, we, we can't uh, we can't um, we can't say that is not important for our body because it's important but when we we talk about uh, scaffold, I think that the the sick bone is a very good scaffold for GBR. But when we talk about osteoinduction, uh, I think the material that you 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 will use it's more important than the sticky bone and then the 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 liquid PRF and the the PRF membrane inside of the sticky bone. And another thing is oh PRF. We have osteoinduction with PRF. Uh, I like to say, uh, when we want to to do some research, some biomaterial research about osteoinduction, we need to place this material inside of the muscle of the uh, some animal, such as rat. And if you place the 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 LPRF or the PRF, the PRF inside of the muscle of the rat. What do you think that we will have? Bone? No. Collagen? Collagen? Nothing. We will have a very good healing only. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have bone. So no, the, definitely. The fear That's is not osteoinduction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is a question by one of our colleague and a very good associate of mine, Dr. Vaibhav Gupta. Uh, he's asking as LPRF is having long resorption period in comparison to other PR, Can it replace conventional collagen membrane in minor or moderate GBR procedures? So we have some studies about the question uh, uh, to substitute the PRF and for uh, the, to, to substitute the collagen membrane for PRF. Uh, I think that's not a good idea because uh, we have some studies using two layers, two PRF membranes to protect the, the material for GBR and uh, with not very good results. So if you can use the, the, the collagen membrane, use your collagen membrane. Don't use yeah. the LPRF as a membrane, but, you can, but if you can use your collagen membrane plus PRF membrane, you will have a better result. That yeah. will be good for you and for your patient, for sure. And our our study, our next uh, next uh, type of PRF, uh, not our next type of uh, albumin plus PRF, the LPRF, probably uh, you can use as a barrier. But we we need more studies about it. Yeah, there is there is one more question about that. That uh, uh, in case when you have lifted the the periosteum, the full thickness periosteal flap. You know, without any tear, without any tear, and then when you are using a doing a GBR procedure with multiple layer of PRF on top of it, uh, then you do the closure without the collagen membrane. Uh, that good periosteal membrane itself act as a barrier because it will not let the soft tissue ingress. So, do you have any experience like this? Because in one of my uh, cases, I got wonderful results. I don't like the, the question about the periosteum as a barrier. I think yeah. the periosteum is not a barrier. And yeah. I think that uh, we need more studies about the question uh, of periosteum as a barrier. I think that's not the right moment to to, to say, oh, oh that's, that will be good for our GBR or not. I think okay. the, the periosteum membrane will be not uh, oh. good right now. So, so you need to, you say that uh, collagen membrane is essential for a GBR procedure and, and a multiple layer of PRF acts as a better healing for that. 
this is what for sure for sure for sure you're totally right that's my my my, my idea or collagen membrane or pericardial membrane any any barrier okay hi joseph do you have any questions yeah uh carlos it's beautiful yeah. um what's what's uh, um the thing that i always keep thinking of physically like with the way we're going to be manipulating uh, the surgical techniques while placing the implants in the transitional zone with the prf um how more elastic can we be, like get it to be and how more stable and what kind of techniques do you think will apply this biology into the physical part Joseph, of the Joseph, surgical procedure Joseph, itself? Yeah. Joseph, I, I, I couldn't hear you. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear, but your voice is stopping the middle. Cutting, sorry. Uh, I'm saying the, uh, the, the, the actual surgical techniques that we're gonna be using for the transition zone while placing the implant and how we can work out the viscosity to be able to be more viscous and more stable there uh, in the surgery itself. What, how, like, what do you see we can do with that more? So uh, are you talking about the out PRF? Uh, the PRF itself, like the... The, uh, the, not the, the PRF form. standard? Yeah. The PRF standard? No, I mean, like, it's a growth factor. Uh, uh, he's talking about um, um, like, do you think with the with the microsurgical procedures, with the dental papilla and all this formation, uh, how we um, can utilize it a little bit more <laughs> microsurgically? Yeah, for, yeah, for the papilla growth and yeah, yeah, I see. The physical I see. part of manipulating oh, it. So uh, we we have a huge experience. Uh, I think that. Uh, um, Dr. Kevin Javid, one of the experts in the world uh, about the, 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 this technique using PRF to, for, to, for, to manipulate the, 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 the soft tissue Tissues. for papilla. And I think that if you try to use the, the PRF as uh, only the, inject, the injection of the liquid PRF in the papilla, you don't have the modification of the, the the tissue. You don't have more keratin in that tissue. Nothing like this. I think that's not possible uh, because we need more uh, uh, more trials about it. We need more um, clinical trials about it because if you don't know, you don't know if you will be the PRF or the the injury of the the needle in your papilla. To, that what 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 was possible to better. improve the quality of your what was better to improve the quality of your papilla then only the needle the iprf or if you use uh saline um, uh as another a control group so we need a clinical trial to 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 know more about it let me ask you something with people taking a little bit of the bone marrow from the mastoid process and can this be implemented with the PRF somehow with the viscosity to, I wouldn't say regenerate better, but at least increase the, the volume or sustain the volume until we have a better healing? So as I said, um, I think the, the, the question of the bone marrow, um, bone marrow is bone them. marrow. We have a lot of stem cells, we have a lot of, uh, uh good factors inside of the bone marrow so uh we can use for sure the prf but if you want to use only the bone marrow for your gbi procedure and uh, collagen membrane we work pretty well and the PR prf i think that you can use the prf for the soft tissue healing only on the top of your collagen membrane yeah wonderful uh there's one wonderful. question and then we will finish it up uh i believe joseph uh do you have any more questions or no, I can no, 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 I'm just opening all different <laughs> thoughts that is just jumping <laughs> in my head yeah. too. Yeah, uh, because I got a got a chance to do it with uh, a, a presentation by uh, Melvin Meninke from Amsterdam. Yeah. And Melvin uh, does a lot of work on to bone marrow stem cells. So Yeah, Melvin from Yeah, yeah. yeah that was wonderful, fantastic. Uh, I wanted yeah. to ask you one thing that many people suggest you to to uh, like prepare a liquid PRF 
IPRF, and then place your implant into that so that it is yeah. it's get coated with that, and then place the implant inside the bone. So does it make any difference, or is just a, a placebo effect? Uh, I'm sorry because the question is uh, uh, how can I say we did it uh, in in UFF in Fluminense Federal University in Brazil in a PhD thesis from my friend Gustavo Fernandez and Gustavo uh, one of the questions in in his uh, in his defense was uh, if you are placing the the PRF in that in that's in, in in the in the implant surface if you are placing it uh, and you are you are placing the implant in that area in the in the new in the new uh, in the new socket that you created but the IPRF is not going out of the socket you have all of the the IPRF inside of the 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 that site Probably no. Probably you have a lot of loss of the IPRF in that socket, the new socket, and uh, that was one of the concern from the 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 in during the, his defense. And I think that's not possible to to improve the bone quality of the bone healing around of the 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 implant. Uh, in this at this moment using only the liquid prf i think that we don't have uh good researchers good research around this 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 idea i think that yeah. we can we can we can do it we can prepare something like this yeah, yeah. but we need to oversize the area and then uh and then after that after after some 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 times we can we can collect that that material but the problem is for humans, it will be very hard, but maybe we can try it in, in animals. Yeah, but uh, one thing is there that uh, Sako's protocol, when he's, uh, because uh, CGF and AFG is Sako's protocol, I believe. And in Sako's protocol, he has shown uh, the difference that a D4 kind of bone, if it is uh, drilled and then put with the CGF and then close it, the new bone after the, the, the new bone which has been formed has a better quality than D, D4. It becomes like D2 or D3 kind of bone. Uh, you get more uh, consolidated bone in that area. It has been in one of his research, which I read the paper. Uh, but yeah, I saw, I saw this paper. But uh, the question is the evaluation. We need to take care about the evaluation of this technique around of the bone. Yeah, but one thing is there, what you had been, uh, when I asked you this question, you said when you are placing the implant, how much PRF has, uh, 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 I mean, like pushed out of the socket. Uh, but uh, but the, the implant these days are double edge, acid edge, uh, and uh, they, are, they have more porosity, so they get enriched with the PRF. And then when you place, so it, there is an interface between the bone and the implant surface. And that was the question that whether it helps in uh, osseointegration or not. So that is a subject of study, I believe. Uh, uh, yeah, no I, I think that could be a very good research. Yeah. But uh, as I said, in my experience, we, we didn't have any difference in in the, the PhD thesis of Gustavo, we, we didn't observe uh, any difference between uh, the control group and the experimental group with PRF, IPRF. So I believe you can do it in the guinea pigs or anything with you place the bone and then take the histology and then see the difference between where uh, there is no PRF and where there is PRF and then you compare it, yeah. you, that's a good that's study. A, that's a, that, will be, that will be a very good study, uh, using the, the PRF, and, uh, but wider, wider uh, socket, and place the implant inside of that wider socket. I think that could be good for, uh, for this evaluation. And then we can evaluate uh, using histology. I think that will be very, very 
impressive if, if you, we can do it. And but the problem is we can do it in we can do it in, in human. That's very very hard to do in, in humans, but uh, probably we can do it in animals. Mm. Yeah, I'm talking so about animals. Animals to do it. Yeah, yeah, we can do we can we can do an experimental uh, procedure in, in maybe in sheep. Yeah, yeah. Someone was having a good question here. He's saying. Um, uh, as IPRF helps in skin regeneration and scalp and good in a lot of cases in dental pockets, can we use it in the black triangle? So I think literally what he's talking about is, again, building volume, like how we use it sometime with the collagen yeah, and interdental it. papilla. Yeah. Will it help with volume, though? Will it help with increasing uh, not just the healing, but volume somehow by at least sustaining or uh, surface tension? or sustaining the collagen more or healing, we, we understand the benefits of it and the manipulation, the initial manipulation of it. But for mm -hmm. building volume, I think can it is utilize? Not, yeah, not, not possible, not possible. Yeah, the IPR is not possible to do it for sure. With, Maybe with the, uh, one, idea, one idea is this, this, this study is, is running in USP with Professor Michel Messora and uh, he's using the ALBPRF to increase the, the papilla volume, volume. And then let's, let's, let's wait for the results. Yeah, but I believe that uh, this, this question was by, by a very good friend of mine, Dr. Shauri Sharma from India, yeah. because he's into mm -hmm. a lot of facial aesthetic. Uh, with the, the question which uh, Joseph asked you. Uh, uh, but I, I, I believe that uh, uh, this, uh, there's one more thing which I wanted to know about. You mentioned one of your friend from Turkey. She is doing some research into uh, some kind of new PR. Yeah, the TPR, the Thor Ezra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is that? It's still in the TPR, the titanium, the use of the titanium. Yeah, the she's from Turkey. You mentioned yeah, so. I, 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 uh, she uh, I, I host I was the host the host of her presentation. I yeah. think that's a uh, promissor uh, material, and I think that we we need more research about about the TPRF. I think that could be a prom promissor material. So thank you so much for uh, being <laughs> with us, and um, we welcome you as the the board member of uh, Global Summit also. Uh, so uh, you are here as a, a speaker today, as a speaker and a board member also, mm -hmm. and all three of us being in the board, uh, it makes uh, old one here. Along with the uh, rest of the people, and uh, I believe we are going to we are going to host uh, Professor Ionis also. Yeah, yeah, uh, we, we, we uh, will be together uh, with Ionis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I have a Very great, question. great question for him. When we will meet uh, with him, then we will ask about that because it was unique technique going into the sinus. Yeah, so, IPG technique. Yeah, right. I know that. Yeah. And thank you so much for being with us, uh, uh, Carlos. It was wonderful presentation. A lot of people uh, have got uh, beautiful uh, depth. Sandra Fabiano, she's saying excellent presentation. Anirban Chatterjee saying, nice talk, Carlos, Shara Sharma, Vaibha Gupta, and uh, Prashant Basin and Ashish Modi, and Esra Arkan. Esra Arkan is your uh, friend. Yeah, 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 the Titanium PRF, yeah. Yes, 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 and Hashim Karim, and there are so many of them. So uh, Louis Fonesca, and um, thank you so much all, uh, to all of our viewers to be being with us for uh, such a long time and for a wonderful question and answer session and Joseph um, <laughs> wonderful we are looking similar uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I put the camera down because like I don't want to hurt someone's eyes like, thank you so much and uh, <laughs> um, to, to good night to all of our um, uh, viewers who are into the eastern part of the world and western part it's good morning so Thank you so much. Have a great day. Dr. Sateev, Dr. Carlos, pleasure. Always. Yeah. Thank Have you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you.
Thank you. We'll see you again soon. Good night. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.